Welcome to a lesson on angles and transversals. The goals of the video are to define a transversal and then define the different types of angles formed by a transversal and the lines it intersects. A transversal is a line that passes through two or more coplanar lines. So this red line here is a transversal because it intersects these other four black lines. And when a transversal intersects lines, it forms a variety of angles that have special names based upon their locations. So again, in geometry, most of the time, a transversal cuts two parallel lines, as you see here in this diagram. However, the two lines don't have to be parallel for the red line to be a transversal. So let's go ahead and go through all these different types of angles formed when a transversal intersects two or more lines. First, we have vertical angles. Vertical angles are non-adjacent angles formed by two intersecting lines. So this one's review. Remember angle one and angle four are vertical angles. Number two and number three. As well as number five and number eight. And number six and number seven. Corresponding angles are two angles in the same position with respect to the transversal, but on a different line. So looking at this diagram here, notice that number two you can think of as the angle in the upper right hand corner of the intersection of the transversal and this first line. And angle six is also in the upper right hand corner of the intersection of the red and lower black line. So angles two and six are corresponding angles. So are angles four and eight as well as one and five, as well as three and seven. Each color represents a pair of corresponding angles. Alternate interior angles are two angles on the interior, but on the opposite side of the transversal. So angles three, four, five, and six are on the interior because they're between the two lines being cut by the transversal. So since angle three and angle six are on opposite sides of the transversal, these are alternate interior angles, as well as angle four and angle five. Alternate exterior angles are two angles on the exterior, but on the opposite side of the transversal. So the angles in the exterior are angles one, two, seven, and eight, and since angle one and angle eight are on the opposite side of the transversal. These are alternate exterior angles as well as angle two and angle seven. Next we have consecutive interior angles, sometimes called same side interior angles. These are two angles on the interior and on the same side of the transversal. So angle four and angle six are consecutive or same side interior angles, as well as angle three and angle five. And finally we have consecutive or same side exterior angles. These are two angles on the exterior and on the same side of the transversal. So the same side or consecutive exterior angles would be angle two and angle eight as well as angle one and angle seven. Now the two lines the transversal intersects, these angles have special relationships, which we'll talk more about in the next video. But let's go and take a look at a Wolfram demonstration just to once again review these definitions. So in this diagram, EF would be the transversal because it intersects line AB and line CD. And in this case, the two lines happen to be parallel. So when we go through these different types of angles, we will see the special relationships of the angles, which we'll discuss more in the next video. So here are the alternate exterior angles in blue and in red. And you can see here that the angles do have the same measure. Here are the alternate interior angles, again in blue and in red. Notice again, these angles are equal. Next we have the consecutive or same side exterior angles in blue and in red. 
And these angles are actually supplementary. Next we have the consecutive or same side interior angles. Again, you'll notice these are supplementary. Next we have the corresponding angles in red, blue, purple, and orange. And you'll notice that the corresponding angles are equal in measure. And then lastly we have the vertical angles in red, blue, orange, and purple. And vertical angles are also equal in measure or congruent. And that's going to do it for this video. I hope you found it helpful.